But we begin on the soccer pitch and regional semifinals. Perrysburg boys taking on state power St. Ignatius Division I. Scoreless 67 minutes until a corner by the Wildcats. The head of Dominic Ruggiero celebrates by breaking the ice in style. Just over a minute later, Yellow Jackets break down defensively. Senior captain Isaac Clapper takes down the attacking player, setting up a penalty on the PK. Martin McLaughlin, the lefty, drills it bottom corner with confidence. St. Ignatius up by two. Perrysburg showing some heat, but having to attack, expose them on the back end. Iggy tacks on one more as they get the 3-0 victory. Perrysburg season coming to an end in the Sweet 16. Yeah, well, we knew the talent. We knew the team we were up against, which we knew it was going to be a challenge for us. We had a game plan, and for the most part, I believe we executed that game plan phenomenally. We went 65, 70 minutes uh, without a goal scored, and in our minds, that gave us an advantage team that should win should be putting up goals and the fact that they weren't we knew they might change styles we know they might change a tactic which might give us an opening and we were playing for that opening something that we can diagnose and film for quite some time but at the talent level that high not a lot of mistakes are made so you have to create those opportunities and create those mistakes and we're going to look to see how we can do that in the future we we relished in the game that we were about to have tonight and we were looking forward to it mason lowry and chris black part of our crew that trucked over to norwalk to bring you this game so moral victories count for very little this time of year, but consider this. Cleveland St. Ignatius, one of the premier soccer programs, not just in Ohio, but anywhere in the United States. To go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them for 80 minutes is so impressive. To keep them off the board for almost 70, that says so much, doesn't it? Yeah, and not just in the regular season. It's when everything's on the line in the postseason, so you know they're giving their best as well, Ignatius. It's not just trying something new. Incredible to play the way you always play and just play great soccer. Both sides, Mike McLaughlin said the same thing. I mean, they play the way you want to play and get all the way to the last 10 minutes still in it, giving yourself a chance. That, that's very impressive. It was so remarkable to me the way this Perrysburg team looked like Perrysburg against St. Ignatius. When we have seen yeah. teams from Northwest Ohio go up against them in years past, you kind of have to bunker. You have to play very defensive-minded. You have to scrap your own identity to try and negate what they do. And to Dennis Johnson and his staff and his players, to their credit, they didn't do that. No, they, they didn't do it. And, of course, there's going to be some mistakes here or there just because that, that, that's the way it has to happen. But they played very, very tight, limited mistakes. Guys got in behind each other defensively to make sure they had a backup when something might have went wrong. So they had numbers in place. They did a really nice job with it, and they moved forward. Didn't get that many opportunities up front, and you wondered if they would have stayed zeros just a few more minutes, maybe a little more direct here or there. Sure. But at the same point, you had to have a winner today. And, and of course, it came in regulation, which I think that's one good news thing. It came in regulation because you hate, hate leaving it to the end. Of course, unless you win. That's okay, but uh, what, what a great soccer game. You know, they lost guys like Alex Diaz and Matt Zinn from last year's team. They came into this season with so many questions, they answered almost all of them. But their season ends here in Norwalk. Back to you.